got 1 million views and I can't actually believe 1 million pairs of eyes. I've seen that. My name's Becky and I make vlogs about my small business selling sun catchers and sun catcher DIY kits. I have just literally got off my call with my functional therapist. If you've watched a few of my videos before you'll know that I have quite bad gut issues um, and I have been seeing a private functional therapist. So I've just got off my second um, call that I've had with him and it went quite well. Um, yeah, I'm actually doing so much better than I was doing. There's a few, I still don't feel 100%, but there's a few things that we just kind of went through um, about the supplements that I'm taking, because I'm taking probiotics, prebiotics, and then like a peppermint thing. But I won't, I won't go into detail, but basically, it is, it is, I am really doing, I'm doing so much better. Mainly, I would say, because of my diet. I've really changed my diet, which is really good, but... Enough about my gut. I've just got some more crystals. So I thought I'd just open these with you because who doesn't like to open a box of crystals? I've just got this obsidian point for a, uh, it's like a driftwood dream catcher, that some, well, driftwood macrame wall hanging that somebody's bought. It kind of like goes in the middle if I get time, I'll show you later on um, in this vlog when I make it. So that's sold on Etsy. Open a few packs of tumble stones. They didn't have the usual big packs that I have. Um, so I've had to get smaller packs, which is always a pain in the form. So much bigger than what my tumble stones normally are. Lapidite. Lapis, lapis. Lapsies, laps, lapsies. I don't, sometimes I can't pronounce them. Russian Jasper. Big agate. Huge. Unikite, they're really big unikites. This stone, Picture Jasper. I absolutely love Picture Jasper. It's like a, got a really nice matte effect to it. Carnelian. Carnelian, there's quite a few people asking for that at the last um, market that I did. We have black oinks, oinks, oinks. I can't say the word oinks. So yeah, that's all my tumble stones. I'm gonna fill my tumble stone stand up and I'm gonna be making um, my amethyst lamp in this video. So I'm gonna put a few clips of that in um, either before or after this clip. Um, I've really enjoyed making that lamp with the amethyst. It's one of my favourites so far, if not the favourite. Actually, I think I'd say it was the favourite, my favourite one so far. It just looks so nice. I can't wait to show you. And tomorrow, not tomorrow, Friday, we should be having sunshine. So I'm going to try and do a social media morning. But I'm also going out that night. So it's like, I don't really want to do my makeup twice in the day. But I think I'm going to have to. <laughs> So yeah, Friday morning is gonna be my social media morning to get that really good content of all the lamps that I've got. I have finished um, these lamps. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them in a minute. But I've finished the Bluebell lamps. This one I did last night while I was watching. Have you have you seen on Netflix, there's a new show called Twin Flames. And I watched the whole thing yesterday and just finished off these bluebell lamps. Um, you definitely need to watch that. Like, I don't know why, but I get really interested in watching like documentaries about cults. I just find them like crazy that people, I find it crazy that people can be so in denial about what's going on around them. So watching documentaries like that, like crime documentaries, especially ones about cult, I just find them so fascinating because I'm just like, how can you let that happen to, like, I find it really hard, I just find them absolutely mad. So I'm gonna fill this up. 
now and then I'm gonna probably show you guys um, me putting these lamps up because I'm gonna be using them in my living room for a while before I sell them because I really like these bluebell ones and I think they're gonna look really nice for Christmas so I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell them though or not yet but I'll see you in a bit. Here are the lamps all together. I am just waiting on the little, they're called rice lights, like little rice lights, so I can light them up at night and then I can like, I'm gonna kind of use this space to work at night so I can do like wrapping my hoops, wrapping my lamps, but look how gorgeous they all look together like that. I'm just gotta make sure I don't swing them at the same time as I'm spinning. I think that looks really cute. I love it. I think it's so nice. <laughs> just trying to get like different angles to see. I'm not quite sure on the spacing of them. Whether this one needs to kind of come higher. Or on the placing of them, but I love them all together like that like my sofa. It just looks super special. With three lights. And they're just gonna have rice lights in them, then you can like switch them on and off with like a battery power. Kind of like what I've done here. I've done it, we've done a bit of um, Christmas decorating in the living room. So this is the tree. <laughs> we, I use a lot of dried plants and dried leaves and things from a tree and then we always have like Loki's toys and stuff on there we try not to be too serious with it because it is for children and then I've put some rice lights in my ivy and I'm going to put some on that side as well and then I bought this from a man um, at the market that I last did and he told me where to get these like rice lights where you get this small battery because the batteries that I was using before, if you saw the last vlog, were way too big. So I've got some of these coming. So I can add them to these babies. And then at night, it's just going to look so magical in here. And I'm just really, I'm not sure if I, I'm really not sure if I want to sell these or not. Or if I just want to keep them. Because I just think they look so nice. Like in my own house. Do you know what, it looks nice from that angle, but the only thing that's annoying me is that. <laughs> it's like they look so good here and that one thing is just really annoying me. Because they look so nice. Anyway, that's them finished, my three, my three bluebells. They have got quite a bit, if you can see, in on these bits. And on the top, you see a little bit of rust on them. So I need to make sure that I've got pictures of that if I do list them, that they're not like in perfect condition, the metal has got some rusting on it, just so people are aware. I'd hate someone to buy something and not be fully aware of what it's gonna be like, so that I'll make sure I put pictures of that on. Um, yeah, so I'm, I just don't know if I'm, I am gonna put them up yet, I might enjoy them myself for a bit. Yeah, I don't know what Jonathan's gonna think when he sees that I've put three new holes in the ceiling, but we'll live. <laughs>
morning and happy Thursday. It is the 30th of November today. Um, I've done Black Friday um, and that was really, really successful for us. It was so busy, like I've had so many orders. I have not had a chance to even look at this camera. Um, so Monday we had, I don't even know how many parcels, like so many parcels to get out. It must've been about 50 parcels. So 50 orders like over the weekend. And then yesterday I've probably got about 20 orders out and I've still got them coming in, but it is slowing down a bit. But thank you so much because Black Friday, especially the DIY kits, the Sun Catcher ones, we did so well um, across like Etsy and my website. And this is why I'm always really happy that, I've ke that I kept my Etsy website because at Christmas and things like times like now, Etsy really is good um, for small businesses. Um, they really do push Christmas and they do a lot of work for you. And paying that, for me, it's like a 9% like all round it's like a nine percent fee that i pay on each on each um order um and it's worth it it is so worth it so that's why i basically i keep it so i just thought i'd just put that in there um but yeah it's been busy across both website and etsy um so i'm really happy about that but it just means that i've not been able to make any new lamps I thought I'd just show you this though, Val, while we're here. This isn't a second-hand lamp. This is one that I've bought like brand new and it's white, um, which I would prefer it to be gold, but I'm thinking I'm gonna try um, and wire wrap this. Now I'm not sure if I should try and get like white wire or do I just use the gold and just have it like a white and gold and then use loads of like clear crystals on it. If you're watching this please comment down below and tell me what you think so should i use like this wire so this golden copper wire and wrap my like crystals with that or do i use try try and get, i might not even be able to get like a white copper wire and then i'd still probably have to have gold because all my chains and stuff are gold all my everything's pretty much gold that i use um or, or I could just use the little clear. I'm not, oh, it's so hard to know what to do. But I do love the shape of it and I do think it'll turn out but really lovely. Like even if I use the gold wire or the white, I think that one's gonna go down really well. And I've got another one that I've not even opened. So I think I'm gonna do that now. It is a second hand one, um, vintage, a vintage lamp. This came in the post like a few days ago and I didn't even have time to open it because I'm so busy with orders from Black Friday. I've still got um like the base inside to put it onto a lamp. That should come off. If I unscrew that. Yeah, I'll have to unscrew that. So this is, an, I think I've done one like this before, but it had something that I could hang it with on the top. This one doesn't. So I'd have to figure out how I'm gonna hang it probably with string like I do with the others. I love these ones because when they spin, it's like because the metal bars go that way, it looks really, it's got like a really nice effect to it. So that's gonna be coming, but I probably won't get round to them for a while. I don't even know if I'll get around to them until January, but we'll see. Um, oh, in other news, I had a market for South Plank scheduled for this weekend, but I'm not doing it because I can't get childcare during the day. But a lovely um, like man who owns a pub around here is doing like a little like a lovely like Christmas fair. I think I don't think it'll be as busy as like a proper market, but all I have to take is my equipment and just like, you just get like a small table, so I'll just take a few things. And that's like a couple of hours, but I think I'll really enjoy that because it's in like a pub setting and I'm gonna, my husband's gonna come and my son and my mother-in-law, I think, and we'll just kind of enjoy that. Um, it's I don't really see it as work. <laughs> it's probably just really enjoy the like evening. So if I could, I'll either film that in here or I'll film it on the next one. I finished the purple sun catcher with the amethyst geos on the bottom. And if I just stop it from twirling. Um, so that's got the geodes on the bottom, which you might have seen. 
and also I don't know if you, know, you might not be able to see in this light but I've put a light on it so when it's dark it looks really pretty see the difference there can't you boys when it's dark for Christmas I think that's gorgeous um so they're up on the website now I love how that one turned out I'm not sure about the light what do you think about the light please let me know down below as well what you think about the lights because for me it looks amazing especially crisp for Christmas but it was hard work like getting the lights on there and also like changing the battery I need to make sure that you were able to change the battery um, once it goes out, so I'm going to need to make sure that that's um, properly done before I send it. If somebody buys it, that is. And then there's the three Bluebell ones that I would have shown before, that they're up on the website as well. And I'm going to probably put in a clip of the lamp here, um, so you can see it like in full glittery sunshine. I'm going to go for a walk today because it is so cold, like outside it is white everywhere um because of that the frost and it just looks amazing so i'm gonna go on a quick walk another update that i've got we hit one million views i've been wanting to have one of our reels go viral so i can get one million views for such a long time and i see all these lovely artists um with all their amazing work and i see them getting like millions of views and i just think oh i just hope one day that i could just hit that one million mark i don't know it's just like a it's just like something that I set for myself, like a goal that I set for myself where I want to hit 1 million views on one of my reels and I finally did it. Um, I'll try and get it up for you. Yeah, so this one, I might be able to see that middle one there. 1 million views, it's this. It's got 1 million views and I can't actually believe 1 million. 1 million pairs of eyes i've seen that real it's just mad to me um so i'm really happy about that take a few clips and put them in here for you and now I'm just finishing off some of these moon hoops that um, I do macrame on you'll probably see them on my website I just sell these mainly on Etsy so I'm just finishing off a few of them I've got three different moons that I need to make um, so I'm getting them done today and tomorrow and then after that I'll be getting all my DIY sun catcher kits out um, so then every order is out before the weekend and I'm just thinking about dates for Christmas because tomorrow is the 1st of December. I'm just thinking about dates for Christmas and what I need to do for cut-off dates. Every, this, the last day for sending is the 20th of December. So I always like to give myself lots and lots of time so to send out parcels and then give myself a bit of time before Christmas to just kind of tidy resort my house out and things like that so if it's the 20th for every and then i've looked for fedex and fedex this is more like the 15th so i'm thinking the last day for diy kits and anything like that is going to be the 13th december the 13th um so i'm going to put like an announcement up on the 1st of december to say like the last day to order will be the 13th of december after that i'll send what i can but 
you, I cannot guarantee that you'll get your parcels before Christmas. And for pre-made items, so like items that, like this, um, that I make, um, that will be the week before, so the 6th. So yeah, that's all the dates. I'll put an announcement up so everybody knows that. But also what I wanted to do is, for all you guys that like watch these videos, I wanted to do something really nice, I'd like to say thank you. Because but you guys who come here and watch these 20 minute YouTube videos of me like basically trying to work out being self-employed um, and selling handmade goods online, it's just I'm really grateful like, I just wanted to show that I was really grateful basically for you guys watching such a long video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little letter, it's going to be in this fireplace here and that's the first letter, it might be two letters, no, first two letters of a code that you can write down and then in next week's video I'm going to give you the next two letters and if you enter that onto my website you're going to get £20 off your order from whatever you spend, so if, if you just spend like £20 you'll get £20 off your order, so basically you'll get a completely free order. So I'm going to give three of them out and the first three people to use that code will get it and then after that they'll be on. So look here right now, that is the first two letters you need for the code that you'll put in, the discount code. And next week, next week's vlog will have the next two, next two letters basically. So I hope that makes sense, if it doesn't please go and let me know it doesn't make sense. So yeah, so I just want to say thank you to you guys that watch these videos. So. I'm going to end this vlog here now, I'm going to put a few clips of something that I've made that just looks really nice, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!